what's going on guys what is happening ah uh, today is i can't even do my regular intro because i'm a little distraught right now but hopefully as i watch these episodes it'll get me in a cheery mood i'm not in the best of moods right now but i know i feel like i have an obligation to do this to do these reactions for y'all man and also for myself for the benefit of myself also because i do want to progress in this story and also to continue the growth of this channel but i'm not in the greatest mood right now um you know so from the last episodes that we watched the last three episodes were really good um this majority speaks kind of situation that they're in right now um we got tom T tampa taking an l off the bat getting me all riled up and then the big letdown at the end um he's a problem and as i said man i feel like he's gonna end up passing the exam just by default because he's you know because he can't really outsmart these guys he can't get them out because they keep finding ways to keep winning um so right now last episode we watched we got leorio figuring out that fake ass guy that was faking to be a part of the phantom troop um right but the phantom troop yeah the phantom troop and you know he was faking the whole damn time <laughs> he was faking underground trying to run out some time because they slipped him a message say lay there and act like you're unconscious but leorio was smart enough to um to make the bet and now i guess he's gonna go up against this prisoner now because he hasn't really beaten her yet it was just a bet uh betting time right so they're still up to one though so we'll see how this goes um i'm ready to jump into it man hope you guys are enjoying these reactions um don't worry about my demeanor because once i start watching the show my mind will connect with the show and i'll start to focus on just the show um so let's do it man let's do it i will see you guys for the review Okay, so we just finished watching those three episodes, um, 11, 12, and 14. We skipped 13 because 13 was one of those catching up episodes. <laughs> it's weird that anime does that. Like, they, you can't imagine you were watching this show when it just started, and you had to wait. They, they, you wait a week for an episode, and it's a freaking flashback episode. Like, that must have been... I used to get so mad when um when naruto would have fla um, flashback episodes i don't think they ever did any episodes like that like you know the catch up ep catch up episodes but they man they killed us with flashbacks and freaking um fellers jesus <laughs> but still enjoyed it anyways but as i said i skipped 13 went to 14 because um I know what that episode was about because if if you're running that for that long after you know the opening i know it's not going to be a regular episode like and as you can see i ran through the episode and it you know confirmed it before i moved on um so these three episodes man was was pretty dope it started off with man Bruh, episode 11, Killua. What is it with this kid, man? I understand he's from a family of assassins, but jeez, the little guy fears nothing. He fears, he's fearless, he smiles about every situation. As a matter of fact, he walked into the ring with his hands in his damn pockets. Like, as I said, man, at this moment, I consider him to be the, the, um, the most powerful or the best out of the group i should say 
Um, all of them have different traits, as I've described before, that I like, and that makes them very particular, very peculiar um, plays to their strengths versus their weaknesses. So um, I understand each character, and they're doing an excellent job of showing these character traits of these four different characters in in the story right now um pretty much when it comes on to to hisoka hisoka is just a beast like he's the golden standard right now because i don't know how killua would fear against him but but at the same time you know uh, um, right now, I really do think that, like, to the characters that we've been introduced to um, in the anime and that we've seen do anything, I would say that, um, you know, it's between Hisoka and Netero as the gold standard right now, as in, you know, as in power, right? Um, even the hunter, the gourmet girl... Um, the gourmet hunter girl, she seems like she's sauce too. So, cause she she don't mess around. So, and she was showing respect to Netero. Netero. So, Netero is that nigga. I, I I'm thinking that he is. He old dude, man. Old dudes in anime. Old dudes in anything having to do with with um the Chinese culture, the Japanese culture, kung fu fighting. Is always the old dudes are always super sauce. They always, you know what I'm saying. They always want to give you them hands. You know what I'm saying. So I'm down for it. Um. So Killua kills the guy, and then in in um in episode twelve they had to spend fifty hours because of Leorio cost them that fifty hours. So they had it was a fifty hour penalty. To the remain, remaining time that they had so they had like 60 hours left um and they had to spend 50 hours into a room because leorio bet it away <laughs> bet it the 50 hours away um so it was 50 hour penalty they figured out once the 50 hours was up um they got to a place they were going around in circles until they finally get to a place where they were close to the end. They got to two doors, basically, where they saw um, they had a choice between the two doors. Either five can go through one door, but it will take them 40-something hours to get to the, to, um, to the goal, right? Or they could choose the other door, which is a shorter pass, but only three of them can go through. And they would have to lock the other two in chains. Um, and I'm glad how they did this because they thought they would have to fight each other to see who will go and who stays or whatever. Um, and they were fighting, but God gun noticed that the walls were breakable. I'm guessing that it was a test of, str str um, figuring out stuff with the weapons to see what, what they would do. Would they, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I think. In a way, maybe the, the examiner expected them to do that, you know, to see if they would leave people behind or whatever, what kind of hunter they're trying to be because they got there as a group because it was majority, right? So did they develop a friendship? Did they develop anything? I think in a way, I think that's what they were trying to test. What would they do? Because Gunn was like, listen, let's try the long way i know we don't have enough time but let's try it anyways because we all got here together even tampa so gun is that guy that's gonna be like we need to stick together we're a team we've always been a team so we can't leave somebody behind now now is not the time to do that so gun is we knew this from like i think it was like episode two that gun is that guy he's the glue he's the one that keeps everybody together He's he has an instinct about people and it's it's working out great for him so far. And I like I love that about him. Um so so he's not ready to give up on people that very easily. You know what I'm saying? Like so I love his character, you know. But then um they figured out that the weapons could break the walls, so I guess 
when the way how they they shot the episode two was very great because they made us believe that only Killua, um, Kuropika and gone past. And I was like, oh shit, Leorio Leorio got and Tampa got left behind. Didn't really care for Tampa that much, but Leorio, okay. I was feeling kind of sad there, that Leorio, but then they showed up. I was like, how the hell? What happened? And then they showed what happened. So they basically chose the long way and then cut a passageway into the short way because the two doors were beside each other. So, and that's what I'm saying, man. Gun, he just thinks on his feet like he's not the kind of guy that's going to sit down and plan and have a strategy. This is actually the first time in episode 14 that we've actually saw him trying to figure out a plan on how to do something. Um, so that's another thing about, you know, growth in, in his character too, you know, of him trying to figure out how to get his focus tag. So that's pretty cool, man. In this, in, um, in this fourth phase, they, ha they have to get these six points, um, by capturing each other's tag. So I'm looking forward to that, how that's going to play out. Gun is being hunted. Um, but he, it doesn't seem like he knows it yet. He's practicing. So I'm guessing what, what he's going to try to do from what I see him practicing at the end of the episode 14. I think what he's going to try to do is to snatch the tag while Isuka is attacking someone. I, I think that's what he's going to try to because that's what the bird was doing. He was going for the fish. So basically, the person is distracted. So the, it's a perfect chance to actually hunt the person or to kill a person is when they're distracted, right? So um, so I'm looking forward to that to see how he's going to pull this off, if he does pull it off, because if he doesn't, will Hisoka kill him? Will Hisoka go after him? If he does get it, will he go after him? So uh, I don't even want to think about it too much. Um, as I said, man, at the beginning of this, if you saw my intro, as I said, when it comes down to anime, anime is my failsafe in a lot of things. Um, you know, I will come home with the nastiest of attitudes and I could just sit down and watch like the first like 10 episodes of Naruto and I'll calm down. I'll just calm down because it takes my mind. It, it, it helps me to focus a lot of times. I don't know. If, I know a lot of people. If anime probably does not do this for you. Like when it comes down to anime and video games. It does that for me. It helps me to calm down. Um, take my mind away from all the other crap that's going on around me. And all the bullshit that I have to deal with in my personal life. Right? So I love that about anime. It helps me to refocus uh, when I watch specific episodes and, you know, um, when it comes on to, to, to Naruto and stuff like that. I'll go back and I'll watch it and I'll say, man, I just don't get tired of seeing how determined this character is. You know what I'm saying? So I love that, man. I love it. So. As you see, I'm perked up now. I'm way, I'm my, my attitude is different. My demeanor is different. Because I know it was going to change from me watching um, this anime. So, um, I definitely was not going to watch Death Note first. Because <laughs> I'm super excited for that too. So, we're going to, I'm about to go react to those episodes right now. Um, thank you guys for watching as always, man. It's been great. These three episodes was straight fire. I love them. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. Remember, you are Terror Squad. Thank you guys for supporting the videos. I am Mr. Terrorbot Reacts, and I will see you guys next time.